there for Northern Ireland. Just three and a half minutes gone and already Romania making it very clear that what they intend to do is attack right from the start. Northern Ireland under tremendous pressure there. This is the match which will decide whether it's Romania or whether Northern Ireland who qualify along with England for the World Cup Finals. This is a real tough match for Northern Ireland. It's 23 months to the day since they last won away from home. On that occasion they beat West Germany in the European Championship. And if they beat Romania today, it will be every good, every bit as good a performance because this Romanian side are quite arguably the best team in World Cup Group 3. Number three is Jovan. And the Romanians finding space out on the flanks. Mateusz, beaten by Donachy. And now it's Quinn for Northern Ireland. Stewart with him. Penny the only man forward. And Jovan finally conceding a throw in. Thinks it's his, but the referee disagrees. 60,000 people express their displeasure with the referee, Mr. Lund Sorensen, from Denmark, Northern Ireland's throw then. And Donachy is forward. Two men in the box just for Northern Ireland, with five defenders, as well as the two men marking Stewart. Penny and Hadji number 11 four goals in this World Cup campaign two of them scored in the first 10 minutes of a match looking for Quinn penalised Jimmy Quinn playing his seventh consecutive match for Northern Ireland must now be under tremendous pressure from Colin Clark of 3rd Division Bournemouth he's the man on form but he's one of the players on the bench Angarianu now Hadji dispossessed by Donachy Again, the Romanians with plenty of players forward. Klein. And Gurianu well forward also. And Penny, good turn. McElroy. Dean McCreary starting a match. Unusual for him. That's a good ball by Whiteside. This is Whiteside onside. And all of a sudden, Norman Whiteside was clear there, set through by Jimmy Quinn. And he's a man you would expect to score in a situation like that. Clear and onside. But Lung had positioned himself well. Whiteside tried to keep it low to beat him. And that was an opportunity for Northern Ireland. Meantime, at the far end, Jennings had to come far off his line as the Romanians broke very quickly indeed after Whiteside's attack. Hadji two men in the box as well as Rednick that was a fair ball out of defence by Alan McDonald under such tremendous pressure making a debut in Bucharest of McElroy nearly through Bundles over Klein. Klein may indeed be a familiar name to you. He was the man who was sent off for chopping down Norman Whiteside at the end of the home match at Windsor Park. A match Northern Ireland won by three goals to two, which is the only defeat which Romania have suffered so far. This is Matiuts, Hadji. Bologna. Good 
Good jump by Penny. And Nickel. Penny. Again, Romania with eight and nine men in Northern Ireland's half. And Goriano. Interception by McDonald. Very confident player. Quinn again, the only Northern Irish striker forward. Named in the team which included Whiteside as a co-striker, but Whiteside's playing deep in the midfield. Five across the middle, four at the back for Northern Ireland. Neil. And now Rednick for Romania. And McDonald's penalised. Turned by Mikael Klein. Ten minutes gone in the first half then. And Romania with a free kick. Pat Jennings organising. Three men in his wall, taken quickly, shot from Matthews, no problem for Pat Jennings. And a long range shot from Matthews, profiting the Romanians little, but here they come again. It was Negrila. We had her out by McCreary. And McDonald, solid figure, establishing himself in the centre of the defence. There's Penny with perhaps an over-eager challenge on Angariano. Waiting near side. Jovan in possession. Negrila. Haji. Centre of the field on his favoured left foot. And McElroy was an important interception. slow and patient again plenty of men forward it's the four in their own half at the moment and Gariano all right foot this player even though he plays on the left side of the field again Romania come through quickly. Slow build up in midfield and then the darting attack down the flanks and this one's brought them a corner. First of the match. 12 minutes gone. Number 11, Hadji, captain of the side. Five men in the box for Romania. Everyone but Penny back from Northern Ireland.
target is Penny. Nico. Penny busy looking for the ball. McElroy waiting for a run from Quinn. And here he is, beaten though by Bolony. Korash. A Klein. Three men ahead of Rednick. Now five forward for Romania. This is Haji. The referees awarding a free kick. Players not supposed to move to challenge the goalkeeper, which Rednick did. <laughs> McDonald, Queen's Park Rangers, regular member of the first team these days, although he was playing full back on Saturday against Manchester United. Here is Whiteside, the man he played against at the weekend. Northern Ireland have a throw right over by the corner flag then. Whiteside is near. Here he is. Donachy. Run by Stewart with Negrila in very close attendance. And Negrila got the header in. Donachy forward. And the throw awarded to Romania. 15 minutes gone though, and it's still scoreless in Bucharest. Good news for Northern Ireland. Donachy. Klein. McDonald up early. The ball's broken for Hadji. Korash is in the center, Haji wants it himself, and a good save by Jennings at his near post. That's the danger of the 20-year-old, Jorge Haji, scorer of four goals already in this World Cup qualifying campaign, and with 15 minutes gone, bringing out a good save from Jennings. Matejic, interception though by Sammy McElroy. Well, we saw there just why you cannot overrate the abilities of the 20-year-old in this Romanian team. Bologna. Waiting for somebody to move for him. run by Matthews, McElroy Noy and Paddy. Looking for Whiteside, good interception. Well in by Donachy, and Bologna, Klein, Hadji come right over to the near side. We'll wander in search of the ball. Two men on him. Savi Marco, or Guy McCreary it was, penalised for bringing him down. I think it was the speed of the turn which deceived the marker. Savi Marco Roy uh, indicating that he thought it was a dive. It's an opportune situation for the Romanians, no doubt about that. Six men in the wall. Hadji took a deflection, gone for a corner. Romania's second of the match, 18 minutes gone. Haji, Gurianu. The 
point speed white side fierce challenge he made for it Negrila Jorgalescu Negrila's wide ball goes for another corner five men were waiting in the box when the ball went short there constant pressure now from the Romanians Rash fighting at the near post. Ball in his corner. Jennings is going. Missed the two, and McDonald made a good interception. Jovan behind him. Haji this time. And at the near post, it was Marcel Korash putting it over the bar. kicked by Jennings Jorgalescu Haji on the run just Haji against Nico again the danger of the man illustrated there Jimmy Nicol happy to concede a corner. Hadji in possession. <laughs> Short. And he missed it. Danger not over yet full nine players for Romania in the Northern Ireland half of the field and an air of the casualness which Northern Ireland simply can't afford there from Stephen Penny it's a good ball Haji at the far post flag already gone though well, the whistle gone Northern Ireland's free kick for Quinn, Rogalescu, tall, rising above him. Now it's Rednick. Played a good one too. Mateus right the way through it again. Jennings with a great save on his line. Mateus bursting through at speed. And Jennings, the old master, closing the gap. Mateus burst through the defence. Jennings has the angle just right. And the save's a good one. now rising behind Romania with the first quarter of this match gone Pat Jennings has made two fine saves against that you must say Norman Whiteside had a great chance when he was put through by Jimmy Quinn earlier on and the general feeling I think is that Northern Ireland are doing well to withstand the pressure from Romania they're certainly eager to win this match and eager to get goals up on the board Nine men in the Northern Ireland half at present. This is Haji. Runs for another corner. Always keen to shoot is Haji. Romania's eighth corner of the game. Haji near post. Quinn was there. Stewart to get it away. Signal from Bologna. And a good jump by Alan McDonald. Did well. Yeah. 
Henny. Seldom had the chance to get into Romania's half so far. Oh, Matajuc. Good tackle again by McDonald. Now Penny. Beaten by Angoriano. Gives the crowd encouragement. Rednick will only standing off if he wants and doesn't need him though Haji and Rednick over the ball Rednick making the signals Two-man wall, Hajik, and Hajik again. Interception by John O'Neill that time. O'Neill, Donaghy. No free kick. Pride don't agree, but uh, the referee quite firm. Stewart looking for white side. McCreary getting well off the ground. Although the referee disagrees, he's given Romania the free kick. McCreary in the side because of his defensive abilities. 49th cap, no goal, so he's certainly not there to score them. Hadji. of trouble and it was McDonald again who provided the necessary clearance the Romanians breaking a great speed and the flag up for offside against Jimmy Quinn the referees allowed them to play on with Klein Haji white side deep in defence Roy's clearance. Space, which Jimmy Nickel has now closed down and closed down well. Penny, two men on him, third coming. And it was Angariano who gave away the free kick. Sammy McElroy, white sides, the far side, signaling to McElroy, it's a good run by McElroy, Quinn's on side, if he can hold it and turn it, and he has done it, 
Jimmy Quinn has given Northern Ireland the lead with 28 minutes gone, made by Sammy McElroy. Whiteside at the far post, probably making his presence felt just by doing nothing. And Jimmy Quinn timing his run to perfection onside, almost lost it there, did very well to recover as Loon came towards him and just tucked it away into the corner of the net. 28th minute of the match then at Northern Ireland, leading by one goal to nil. Don't dare think about it, but it's a great start by the visiting team. Great control this by Jimmy Quinn. Just slipping it between the goalkeeper and the near post. It's six years since Romania have lost a match in Bucharest. They are a very difficult team to beat. But on the evidence of this first half hour, you must say Northern Ireland are giving them just about as good as they've got. <laughs> Romania, four men in the box. Very brave header, that by Jimmy Nicol. Now Quinn, the goal scorer. Stewart. A white side, white side against Lung. And Lung coming out ahead. I think Ian Stewart saw the opportunity to try a shot. Lung, though, back in position now. The pressure now very firmly on the Romanians. Northern Ireland leading. Haji won the free kick from Stewart opposite number 11 Bologna nine men in Northern Ireland's half and 11 Northern Ireland defenders there as well the midfield, it's Northern Ireland defend their goal mark. Donaghy and Stewart both there. Fairly close to the edge of the box. Hadji brought down for a free kick. Stewart, and that's an amazing shot coming in from Bologna. Again, the vision of Hadji to feed the ball to him. Quinn will jump, timed it well. Didn't quite find Penny. He's playing much deeper than he would for Brighton. Van. Quinn back in his own half. Gariadu. Jorgalescu. For Rednik. Now Stewart, look how deep Ian Stewart's playing. Every single Northern Irishman back in his own half. Jovan. Again, there was a timely interception there by McDonald, still in the thick of it, and getting his header in. And a very high foot by Sammy McElroy, protects his innocence. Winning his 80th cap for Northern Ireland. men in the wall. This is Haji. Left it for Bologna again. 
John O'Neill in the way that time. Hungarianu. And Donachie's header. And McCreary. Penny. And McElroy. from Jimmy Nicol. Miles Onarchy. Dean Whiteside. Haji on a run. McDonald with him. The line for looks to the referee for guidance. And the referee's decision is that it's a throw-in, I believe, or a free kick. It's going to be a free kick to Romania then. Haji in swinging and Jimmy Quinn conceding the corner. Ten minutes to go to half-time as the Romanians take a corner, but remember, they trail Northern Ireland by one goal to nil. The goal scorer, the man who put it out for the corner, Jimmy Quinn. The pressure very much on the home side then in what is basically the cup final of this World Cup qualifying group. Ball in his corner and Jennings was there, not clear, and two Northern Irishmen confusing each other. Whiteside and Nickel exchange words. Pat Jennings grateful to pick up the ball as it dropped into his hands. Angorianu's mistake, now Penny, Penny against the goalkeeper. Stephen Penny suddenly finding himself clear there, probably couldn't believe his luck. On his wrong foot too. Find himself clear all of a sudden, couldn't quite beat Lung. But what an opportunity that was for Northern Ireland. When you think back to Whiteside breaking through earlier in the match and that effort there from Stephen Penny, it could be 3-0 to Northern Ireland. 1-0 of course will do. And they're certainly playing well enough to keep themselves in contention for Mexico 1986. The Romanians need to respond. They've thrown four men forward. It was O'Neill's header. McCreary was in and it's fallen for Haji. He claims a deflection and the referee agrees. It's a corner. This is Klein. Penny's there, McElroy's there, now it's Quinn's turn to try and get in. Didn't succeed, this is Hadji. With Negrila on the overlap. And that's a fine one too. And Donachie finally with the interception. The 11th corner of the match to Romania. bolony has gone short and indeed will probably take it, he does. Now Hadji in the box. No deflection this time. Hadji captaining the side in the absence of Stefanescu, who is serving a suspension, having been booked twice in the qualifying campaign. A 20-year-old, and they call him the Romanian Maradona, and with some justification too. Fine skills and a brilliant left foot. Quinn. Left Klein on the floor, up now though. Bologna. The run from Rednick. Angoriano. Jovan. Haji. Good tackle, O'Neill. 
Our white side. Had a fairly quiet half so far. As the Romanians break, Klein, Korach, and that was Jennings well out of his goal. And the ball must have taken a deflection as Pat Jennings fought for it. Mr. Sorensen has given the throw in to Northern Ireland. Looking for Stewart. Jovan with an immense height advantage. Negrila and Jovan. Haji. Boloni. Haji. Goriano. Northern Ireland have surrendered that midfield space for them to play the ball around with. Waiting for the darting attack. Moloney. Looking for Rednick. That was Stewart back in defence. The mistake by Quinn and Jimmy Nickel must be quick. Korach was there to challenge. Five minutes to go to half-time. That was a fright for Northern Ireland. Jimmy Quinn just a little bit slack, perhaps. And now Jimmy Quinn booked. Although, to be fair to him, he's doing plenty of running. He's the one man who's always forward for Northern Ireland, and he's getting back to help the defence as well. Boloni. Aji has come short. Here he is. Stewart back in defence. And with less than four minutes to half time, perhaps a suggestion that the Romanian crowd are getting just a little bit disenchanted with their side. They're certainly very quiet. The Romanians try to be patient to look for the gap. This is Haji. The Creary solid in front of him. Now, Jorgalescu. Jimmy Nichols header. McElroy with time. Penny and Nichol losing possession with Haji. Goriado, Haji, Fine and Haji, and it's not away yet, there's now though, John O'Neill applying the finishing touch to that, Romanian possession again, Jovan, might fancy his chances, 25 yards out, prefers Negrila. Goriano. He fancies himself. Pat Jennings. Straight into the bench there. That's uh, Mircea Lichescu. Manager of this Romanian side. And uh, a similar story to tell as Billy Bingham. He was a player when Romania played in the World Cup Finals. For the only time since the war. That was in Mexico 1970 by the way. And now he's back trying to manage the side to the World Cup Finals for the second time since 1945. The exact uh, job which Billy Bingham did for Northern Ireland in qualifying for Spain 82. Jimmy Nicol in no rush, so close to half time. This is Quinn. Michael Roy and Penny.
minute and a half of the 45 left in this first half. Quinn, McElroy, two men in the middle, white side of the far post, Stuart, though offside. Sixty seconds of normal time left in the first half. Again, McDonald playing so well in this first half, making his debut in Bucharest in the World Cup and replacing John McClellan, who has played the last 29 matches for Northern Ireland. A very difficult job for him to follow that. So far, he has done it with calmness and brilliantly too. Romania searching for the goal, which will take the sides in level at half-time. McCreary's interception. A chance for Penny to get rid of the ball. Ran out of space, though. Matthews. Bologna. Mario seems to find the empty spaces. Haji against Donaghy. Forty-five minutes up on my watch. The ball in Northern Ireland's half. Donaghy to clear. Haji for Rednick. Donaghy again in the way, and now surely Whiteside will, and he does. And the referee calls a halt to the first half. What a half this has been for Northern Ireland, and how disappointing it must be for the Romanian manager, Luchescu. The Northern Ireland team come off. They know that they are in command of this World Cup match. The Romanians not looking at all happy to be trailing by that one goal to nil at half time. Lung and flew in this morning specially for the match. 72 Northern Ireland fans then amongst a crowd of 60,000 Romanians who are anxious to see their team through to the World Cup finals for only the second time since the war. Northern Ireland then playing right to left as we look in this second half. And remember they're the team with the lighter shorts. Good challenge by Di McCreary. And now a chance for Ian Stewart to run the ball at the defence. And he's played a good one too with Whiteside. Quiet first half Whiteside had. And a great chance when Jimmy Quinn put him through. Hit the ball well. I suppose he played it low trying to beat Lung. Perhaps the best way to do it. The goalkeeper's body preventing Northern Ireland from taking the lead at that point. interception it seems to be Northern Ireland are closing out the midfield a bit more at the start of the second half they surrendered it for most of the first and concentrated their effort on defending the goal area Stewart ball in play pitch is actually in fairly bad condition quite soft and very patchy apparently there was a major festival here a few weeks ago and that was good control by Matthews and the substitute on Joe Gao he was the man who scored the second goal for Romania in Belfast Hadji got the first in that 3-2 win for Northern Ireland the only defeat Romania have suffered in the group so far. Joe Gao playing up front. Now McDonald. Bologna. Jogao.
McElroy's intercepts with Chelko again. And again, Barney goes. And how's the protest from the 60,000 Romanians because no free kick was given? Tackle by McCreary. Penny breaking free, but the ball beat him. White side. Now it breaks for Rednick. And a good header by McDonald. Taji. White side with him. Lays it off for Bologna. Looking for the one two in the end to the box. Dangerous for Northern Ireland. And Haji. Support for the Jovan. McDonald with a great header. That was very important. Appeals against Rednick. They got away with it. And again, McDonald was in. Starting the second half the way he played right through the first half. Great defense. Alan McDonald making his debut. And not afraid to give instructions either. Very confident player. Just what Northern Ireland need in this situation. Romania's brisk start to the second half, encouraging the fans to get behind them. This is Jovan. Wide Rednick and now Haji. Haji again looking for space to shoot. Okay, Haji starting the second half with a fabulous left foot shot there. Prepared to hold the ball and look for his opportunity. Four goals, remember, he has already scored for Romania in this World Cup qualifying group. Big jump by Jimmy Quinn. Ball's gone, though. Throw in to Romania. Stealing a few yards, too. I'm getting away with it. This is Matthews. Strong challenge by Jimmy Nickel. Another throw to Romania. Moloney. McDonald with the header. And again. And Whiteside clearing the line. Romania starting the half end with a similar sort of flourish with which they started the first. Taji, Stuart with him, conceding the first corner of the second half. Romania's 12th of the match shows you the pressure which they've been putting on Northern Ireland. Moloney in swinging off the line by Miles Donaghy. Now McCreary, not gone yet. Haji. Nichols call. A good one. The appeals for a penalty, still not clear. It's Bologna. McDonald blocking his view. Bologna encouraging his men. Certainly opportunity, and the Romanian bench knows so. David McCreary, meantime, is down hurt. John McVeigh, Leicester City physio. Northern Ireland as well. Yeah. It's Jimmy Nichol down hurt.
The referee asking John McVeigh to leave the field. John not at all happy by the look of him. The referee must obviously have said either to take him off the field for treatment or to get on with it. Lund Sorensen and Billy Bingham with uh, Jerry Armstrong showing the concern Northern Ireland must feel. 1-0 they lead under pressure from Romania. This is Jovan. Rednik. And Haji. Again, moving inside, looking for space. Fine Bologna, Jogo, and Maldonaki back. A penny. Two on him, too many for him. And Gorianu. Matut. And McDonald clear. Northern Ireland was standing tremendous pressure in the, his first ten minutes of the second half. Rednick. Haji. Jogo. Bologna. Played the one-two with Klein before finding a Gorianu. Klein again. Short ball, Bologna. The crowd on their feet, but Jennings safely behind that diving header from Bologna. Diving header looked dangerous. Jennings, though, right behind it, safe as horses. This is Haji for Romania. Putting everything into this opening quarter of an hour, looking for the equaliser as we come up to the tenth minute of the second half. Angurianu. Korash went down. Angurianu. Nigel Worthington can play in the fence or in midfield. Obviously ready to come on. Perhaps it will be Ian Stewart who will go off. Had a quiet match. White side anticipating the back pass. This is Rednick. Joe Gow. Donaghy with him every step. Now Klein. Bologna. Klein going for the return. Got it to. Field for a penalty. And the penalty has been given by the look of it. Man down. Jimmy Nicholl protesting. Asking for clarification. Obstruction awarded. Klein went for the return ball and the referee is given a free kick for obstruction substitution meantime is being made over on the far side of the field as the Northern Ireland wall line up it is indeed Ian Stewart who goes off and on comes Nigel Worthington straight in to help out with this defence Worthington a much more defensive minded player than uh, Ian Stewart and he's straight into the wall, which basically is all ten outfield players. Bologna and Hadji are the two men standing over it. Questioning whether the wall is in fact ten yards back, the referees asked them to move further. What a dangerous situation for Northern Ireland. Bologna's been told to play it on. Hadji 
blocked by Penny. And Northern Ireland survived the moment. Good defence. Nigel Worthington straight into the match, having a chat with Norman Whiteside. He'll play on the left-hand side. And as I say, he'll be much more defensive-minded than Ian Stewart. There's Worthington, straight into it with Rednick. Van Bologna sends the arrival of the player. On the run, near side, Rednick, he's on side too. Worthington just got his foot to it. Enough to stop him. That's Worthington. On to win his sixth cap. And gaining valuable ground for Northern Ireland. Mircea Luchescu, perhaps wondering if his dream is fading. Whiteside wants it, two men were on him. in and now McElroy beaten though this is Bologna four ashes there also Jimmy Nickel ball out for a corner coming up to the quarter hour a half an hour of the match to go quarter perhaps aiming for a volley in the end, a half volley, and Jimmy Nickel off the line from Matthews. Ball not clear yet. Jimmy Nickel clapped his hands as he walked away, having saved it off the line. The ball right through from Matthews. The corner wide, Matthews perhaps thinking about a volley. One point, fine shot, and Nickel off the line. Mateusz and Bologna, Hadji, McCreary, and now Whiteside with a chance to bring it away from Northern Ireland, looking for Quinn, he's taken him on and beaten Jovan, Penny's arrived at the far post, substitution being made, Korash goes off, and Paterka comes on. Luchesco's last card then, both the substitutes on the field. Worthington's throw, looking for Quinn, high up there. Whiteside making a challenge. Now John O'Neill. Penny and Nickel. Nickel's free. Now Whiteside. His control just left him there. Unlucky. Gurianu. Romania looking to break through Haji. 
Jimmy Nicol for Northern Ireland. Quinn all on his own up front. He has the job of holding the ball. Job which once belonged to Jerry Armstrong, who for the first time in his 58 cap career found that he could not find himself selected for the side because Billy Bingham reckoned there were people who could do the job better. Stephen Penny, penalised, feet up. McDonald, but Tarka thought he turned him. McDonald knew better. Now it'll be interesting to see whether the Romanians allow treatment to take place on the pitch or whether he'll ask their physio to do the same, which he does, as he asked John McVeigh. Jimmy Nicol and Paterka exchanging words. Good header again, McDonald. Jovan. Worthington. So Rednick with the throw. Yovan. Intercepted by Whiteside. Chance for McCreary to bring it away. Penny's wide. And now Nicol and Quinn forward. This Bologna. Romania riding around the box. Bologna. Again, distributing the ball. And Goriano this time in possession. Looking for Haji. No problem for John O'Neill. Gillescu in possession. This is the man who scored the own goal which gave Northern Ireland the lead in the 3-2 win back in Belfast against Romania. In the night of the team since and back in today because the regular captain Stefan Eskew is serving a one-man suspension just as Norman Whiteside did a month ago for Northern Ireland's match in Izmir against Turkey. Romania have now been trying for just over 20 minutes of this half to break through for the equaliser. The crowd very quiet around us. 60,000 plus in this August the 23rd stadium. Capacity actually over 100,000. But the Romanian official said 60,000 tickets was the limit printed for this game. Very quiet. But now a chance for Haji. Jimmy Nichols interception. And Joe Gao, perhaps thinking that he could make something more of that. Jennings was already committed to the initial save, which was Hadji's movement. And one wonders just whether the uh, forward far post was covered there. Overhead kick. The Turk at that time. Pat Jennings having a tremendous match, his 112th international for Northern Ireland, equaling the all-time record by a goalkeeper 
Dino's off. Fine save. Solid in goal. Dino's off incidentally created his record in a match against Romania. A match the Romanians won by one goal to nil. European Championship. And that was to be his last. The way things are going for this man, though, no question this will be his last, and he could well break the record at Wembley next month. Right side. It's Donaghy. And McElroy, if he can keep it in, which he can. Quinn's down injured. But Whiteside is forward. And McElroy wins the free kick. McElroy looks to be fairly badly hurt once again the referee has had a word with John McVeigh Billy Bingham's off his bench Jerry Armstrong is stripped and Bingham anxiously waiting for the word from McVeigh which is that Sammy is okay to continue Jerry Armstrong though stripped on and continues to warm up. This is Tenney, white side, just too high for him. McDonald, powerful header, Northern Ireland are onside, Quinn's in the middle. Logan obviously thought white side was offside, but he was not. The Turka, nice turn, bad ball. Uh, it's Quinn for Northern Ireland. Penny. Twenty-five minutes gone in the second half. Still Romania nil, Northern Ireland one. Jimmy Quinn scoring in the twenty-ninth minute of the match. Another free kick to Romania in a dangerous situation, particularly with Hadji there. Every Northern Ireland player behind the ball. Seven in the wall. With Bologna and Hadji, little chip this time, and again McDonald with a fine header. Oh, what a great save by Jennings. Joe Gow this time hitting the shot. And Jennings, for the third time this match, makes a very fine save indeed. Worthington's chance to clear. Safety first, very much in mind. Romania's 14th corner of the match, though only their third this half. Klein leaves it for Bologna. And Swinger Jennings fits it clear. Falls to Ungurianu. With him is Mateus. Off white side. Haji. McDonald. Nickel. Ball had crossed the line though before Jimmy Nicol got his foot to it. Another corner to Romania as they exert pressure once again. RG Bologna. And again, Nicol off the line. A tremendous save by Jimmy Nicol. 
And Angulianu with the follow-up shot. A tense moments for Northern Ireland. The corner falling beautifully. Right the way through the defence. Jennings was beaten. Niccolo cleared it. And Angarianu with the volley to follow up. Meanwhile, on the far side of the field, Stephen Kenny there is being escorted back to the bench by Billy Bingham. And Jerry Armstrong is on the field for his 59th cap. <laughs> Neil's clearance win against Jogalescu both miss it and now it's Bologna and Ugoliano, if he can keep it in which he can and Armstrong straight into action Jerry will be playing deep no mistake about that Northern Ireland protecting a one goal lead in the final quarter of this what is basically a cup final in World Cup Group 3. Strong play by John O'Neill. A nice turn by Jimmy Quinn. Too quick for the defender and Northern Ireland have the free kick. Nickel. Will be a free kick now to Romania. Both managers have now made their uh, substitutions. Legrila and Korash, the men off for Romania. And the two wingers off for Northern Ireland, Stuart and Penny. This is Haji. Goriano and Jimmy Quinn exchanging pleasantries. Worthington against Rednick. Worthington wins. Fifteen minutes to go then. jump by Quinn nobody in support though all Northern Ireland players bar Quinn in their own half one for Matthews against Donaghy Worthington points badly for him did well in the end to find Pat Jennings strong challenge comes away with the ball as he so often does great tackler Dean McCreary great defensive midfielder Worthington now released by Whiteside Quinn was in the middle it's all time slipping away from Romania Lung doesn't stop the ball before he takes the goal kick the referee allows it Haji and Bologna Joe Gao and Paterka levelled by Alan McDonald referee with a very clear warning no booking though but a clear warning it'll go next time Phil Jao McCreary again bounces off the referee this time and McElroy holding the Romanians back forcing them backwards towards the halfway line Haji I 
Colony, some space. Fine ball to beat the defence, just too long. Klein looking to get on the end of that. Armstrong with them. Strong run by Armstrong. Good run too. Quinn's arrived in the middle. Arm. He was looking for Whiteside. Cut out though by Rednick. That's not a bad ball. If Hadji can get on the end of it. Jennings is there. And I think he deserves that little bit of luck. He was certainly trying to thump it out of the ground. And it fell very kindly for him today indeed. He deserves it. He's made three great saves in this match. Quinn may have found Whiteside here. Whiteside with Bologna. Michael Roy. Whiteside. Whiteside challenging again. Oh, Whiteside, could he go all the way? Three men to beat. Yovan got in the interception. Donaghy. Worthington, man on him. And Rednick conceding the free kick. Maldonaghy, 37th cap today, established himself as a very solid defender for Northern Ireland. Target was Quinn, who had already given away the free kick. There are now exactly 10 minutes to go before the end of normal time in this match. It's Romania nil, Northern Ireland 1. Don't even think about it. The Romanians pressing hard. And fully aware of what defeat would mean for them in this match. Switch the pressure right onto them. They finish away in Turkey. Play them in Ankara. And Northern Ireland certainly know how hard it is to get a result there from their match in the European Championships two years ago. This is Glonicky for Northern Ireland. Worthington's gone wide. Angariano. Jogalescu. Must be the Oz Romania one. Created a couple of good chances for himself as Matthew in this match. Matthew again. Two men forward, John O'Neill, hustling his way into position for a header. Falls for Armstrong. Quinn against Jorgalescu. And now Jovan. Romania trying to stretch Northern Ireland in every direction. Trying to get the breakthrough that'll work. We've had long shots, short shots, moves up both flanks and crosses for the middle. This is their fourth corner of the half, 15th overall. 
an indication of the pressure which they've been able to exert on the Northern Ireland team. by John O'Neill white side showing more aggression now sort of thing we expect of him and getting the applause of teammates Michael Roy and Armstrong Quinn Armstrong Michael Roy The longer Northern Ireland can hold on to the ball, the less time left for the Romanians. And here they come with the captain, Haji. The kind deflection. And for once, the man that the Romanians call the new Maradona can do nothing right for them. The crowd certainly frustrated. They've seen the Romanians have chances, but let's remember Northern Ireland had a couple of good chances as well. Indeed, Romanians leaving with six minutes to go. Northern Ireland leading by that Jimmy Quinn goal just before the half hour. And we remember the chances that fell to Norman Whiteside before him and to Stephen Penny after him. As Ungoriano is in possession and Bologna Joe Gao good interception by Whiteside down he goes Bologna referee said play on I had G always dangerous so crowded in that penalty area Guriano and John O'Neill and it's another corner with five minutes to go Northern Ireland lead Romania by one goal to nil in Bucharest Pat Jennings checking his position again and again a clear header and a great save again by Jennings Rednick this time and he wonders how he never managed to get the ball in the back of the net it was a good header question marks perhaps to be asked about the Northern Ireland defence because when it came over Rednick rose well Jennings another great save another corner though that came off the head I believe of Miles Onaki corner on the far side four excellent saves in this match by Pat Jennings 40 years of age proving he's as good as he ever was And that was Armstrong away. Four minutes to go. Sammy McElroy calling for just that one bit more effort. Four minutes to go. Northern Ireland leading 1-0. A place in the World Cup Finals perhaps beckoning. Bologna, Nichols header, straight back into the defence he goes. This is Nickel, Michael Roy falls for Bologna. I had G, clever flick with Donaghy with the header. And now O'Neill. It's six years since the home side was beaten in Bucharest. Having said that, it was nine years since West Germany had lost in any home match until Northern Ireland beat them there exactly 23 months ago to the day. Is history about to repeat itself? It will certainly be a result of equal importance and equal credit to Northern Ireland if they lift the points here in Bucharest. This is Whiteside. Lost possession though. Rednick for Romania. So Gao. Mateusz nearly in. 
And now Anguriano fine tackle by Armstrong. He's played well since he came on. And now chance to break. It's three against two. Jimmy Quinn offside. Whiteside and Quinn broke. Worthington was in support. And Jimmy Quinn booked by the referee having kicked the ball out of play. Romania, Ungariano, O'Neill solid again. Now McElroy, white side charging up the middle of the field. Worthington's on the far side. Lung has come out of his box for this. Just enough time to collect. Two minutes to go. Ungariano in possession. Now Rednick. Seven players for Romania ahead of him. Bologna. McDonald. Whiteside. McElroy and Whiteside. run all the way through and it's not clear that was a fine header by Miles Donerke just picking it off the head of Joe Gao as he came in to challenge and look how far Lung is about to come off his line that's Haji desperate defence by Northern Ireland the tension as we go into the last minute can they protect their one goal lead remember these two teams are tied on points in this group table until the end of this match and the Romanians have slightly the better goal difference Donaghy's clearance two points so essential to Northern Ireland's bid to make it to Spain next summer and now a chance for Jennings to slow it down Northern Ireland are so close. On my watch, the 45 minutes and the 90 minutes are up. They lead by one goal to nil. Jimmy Quinn was the scorer. But there are 11 heroes as Romania win another free kick. Bologna calls everybody forward. The only man behind the ball is Lung. McDonald a fine header clear Haji ball still in the box and it was Jimmy Quinn who put it away for the corner we're playing time that has been added on by the referee perhaps Romania's last chance it goes short for Ungariano but McElroy was there and if it had fallen for him a little more kindly he could have been clear there was nobody except Matthews between himself and the goalkeeper. There's Jovan, who has found Haji, throwing everything into the box now. Worthington, not clear. Better by McDonald. We've played a minute of injury time. Fine header now by John O'Neill. The ball's still in the box. Now O'Neill again. Still can't get it clear, and now Jennings has it in his hand. What a relief it is. A minute and a half of injury time played. And the, the ball picked up from Pat Jennings. No goal, of course. Matty, it's perhaps doing, trying to do what Pat Jennings, what George Best once did at Windsor Park to the great Gordon Banks. Neither of them got a goal for it, though. Two minutes of injury time gone now. Mr. Sorensen still refuses to give Northern Ireland relief. McDonald missed that one and Donaghy came to the rescue. The ball just slipping above him and behind him was Donaghy hooking it well clear. Donaghy again. Jennings with the call. Mr. Sorensen has looked at his watch. I don't know what his thoughts are. 
with the 72 Irishman in the crowd are very clear about their thoughts he's watching and watching and that is it Northern Ireland have done it again they did it in Spain at the World Cup finals beating Spain 1-0 in Valencia they did it in Hamburg in the European Championships beating them 1-0 there and they've done it today in World Cup qualifying group 3 the 72 Northern Irishmen away to our right celebrate in customary fashion and Northern Ireland produce another fantastic win up into second place they go and now a match to come against England at Wembley and with everything to play for half a million pounds at least the guaranteed minimum if a team should play in the finals and the pressure now firmly on Romania who must go and play Turkey in Ankara the night that Northern Ireland are at Wembley the rejoicing in the centre of the field all from the Northern Ireland team 11 heroes today and the man who scored the goal let's give him the credit as we finish in the 28th minute of the match Jimmy Quinn set up by Savvy McElroy and a full time score with Billy Bingham with Pat Jennings a man who made four fantastic saves in this match the final score as I say as we leave you with 11 delighted Irishmen out on the pitch there from Bucharest let me tell you that Romania have suffered their first defeat in this city in six years and the Northern Ireland fans celebrate 72 of them as I say the most of them from the first Shank Hill Supporters Club I may tell you and they're swapping flags there with the local police there goes Alan McDonald just out of picture what a fantastic debut he had for Northern Ireland coming in to replace John McClellan